So not long after you settle down for the night, uh, the weather breaks, uh, the, the clouds open up, and it is a torrential downpour all night long. You are unable to start a fire, and uh, very soon you are soaked all the way to the skin. It's a very miserable night for everyone. <clears throat> about an hour before dawn you hear wolves howling strange noises like trees uh, tree branches breaking uh, <laughs> things that you can't attribute to directly to any person or creature directly uh, just kind of all around weird and creepy Hold me, Francis. <laughs> I, I got you, buddy. By the noise of that thing, uh, we now know why it was abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we're not actually to the logging camp yet? We're just out in the middle no. of the woods? Yeah, we're no, just out uh, in the woods. And uh, as uh, as is your, your custom, uh, you... Everyone gets up about an hour before dawn and uh, gets ready to move out. And uh, as you're making your preparations, uh, your ranger companion tells you that he's never actually been to the logging camp, uh, but he he does know where it is based off of uh, seeing it on a map uh, since his unit had been conducting patrols in the area uh he does mark a few places where he has been uh like the uh, the schmutzig lake uh the what's it schmutzig lake schmutzig lake um he he doesn't know why the logging camp was abandoned uh, he just knows that that's what everyone called it, the abandoned logging camp. Uh, and he circles it with uh, his best guesstimate of where it would most likely probably possibly be. Probably possibly? Maybe. Most likely? So <laughs> okay. I've got uh, got this logging camp circled for you guys. <laughs> so let's uh you, 100 you, uh, of the time he's 50 percent correct is that what you're saying right. <laughs> it's probably this way so uh are we do we want to head towards uh head northwest and see if we can find this camp well fellas uh last night i was uh francis here i was just dreaming that somehow our time to save the princess is getting shorter I don't know if she's in danger. I don't know if I'm just worried. So I don't know. Do we really need to go to the wood camp now? or We don't need to. Well, I, I know you guys were on a, a quest, and there are assassins after you, so it's probably a good idea to get on with your, your quest, right? That's my uh, commander sent me with you guys for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Our quest is to see if we can discover some, discover the location of Dragon's Blood. Have you in your in your travels? Have you heard of the place where we could get some Dragon's Blood? Um, no, I haven't heard of anywhere you can get Dragon's Blood. And that answer rings absolutely true. <laughs> well, um, I will put it to the party. What do we want to do? I am perfectly willing to head on towards Princetown, or if we want to take a, a brief swing up northwest and see if we can locate this uh, logging camp. But uh, uh, How Francis, uh, Francis's uh, feeling of dread, maybe it's something we need to listen to. Um, oh, now he doesn't want to go to the woods. He just wants to go. Okay. <laughs> There's no hooers at the logging camp. 
So, uh, <laughs> but there may be hooers at Princetown. There may be hooers at Princetown. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead let's and uh, have have Francis roll a uh, charisma check. Charisma check. See if he convinces everyone to head to Princetown. If not, oh, no. he doesn't convince you, and you guys go to your logging camp. Oh, just a charisma or a persuasion. Either way. <laughs> oh, it automatically pulled it in anyway, so it's all the same. I rolled a 16, got a 20 adjusted. Yep. <laughs> all right, so... Uh... I was rolling a save. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to go to the logging camp. <laughs> <laughs> well, well... Well, since Francis rolled a higher charisma, <laughs> Francis seems to be very earnest about his desire to head west and not go to the logging camp that someone spent an entire week putting together. <laughs> Damn it. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. And by sorry, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, <Yeah>. DM. <laughs> <laughs> so you decide to go back to Princetown. You're going to forego the logging camp. Okay. For now. Yes. For now. Yeah. There's no okay. We'll, we'll swing around there later, but right now we need to head to the, to the, to the city. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Now, as you are making your way back to the road, roll for initiative. No. Um, I already had the mouse sitting there. <laughs> oh! What's dark over there? Don't go over there. It's dark. <laughs> your uh, your your new ranger companion. He tells you that uh, again, while he has never actually been to Princetown. He has heard some strange things about the place that uh, the uh, there there's a mayor there. That's the path he brings you through the woods. Okay. I hope it doesn't get dark this time. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, he says that the you know the people there he he hears are are kind of kind of strange. They're they're a, a little bit uh, a little bit uptight. Uh, they practice some sort of very, I guess uh, we would call it puritanical type of religion. So much for your whores. Oh, I knew he's gonna fuck me somehow. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I've never actually been to Princetown. It's all right. We won't play with you guys. You ain't been a whole yet. lot of places. <laughs> I didn't. This, this is the punishment we get not going to where the DM had prepared for us because we told him we no, were going there. No, and then no, we no, no, not at all. Not <laughs> at all. Yeah, I just want you funny. to know that all of this would have happened regardless. Just because they're puritanical doesn't mean they're not some of the women aren't wild and crazy. <laughs> no, I think literally that's what it means. That is like the literal definition of puritanical. Well, you know, it's uh, you know the old saying: some of the wildest women you'll ever meet are, are preachers' daughters. All right, so these people are uh, a little weird. I, I guess I'm gonna lead you to Princetown now. Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, you you get back on the road and uh, you you follow the yellow brick road. I didn't see any dwarves. Well, there is munchkins, <laughs> halflings, little people. No, no doors, no whores. <laughs> what kind of place might, is this? Is this hell? Might, oh, I'm people about dwarf whores. Find out any alcohol. <gasps> you shut your whore mouth. 
<laughs> Go back to your house on Lower Island. <laughs> hey, we still got that wooden box, right? Yeah, uh, you do. You I should. Do, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna pull it out and say, whoa, I whoa, need. Whoa, not, not yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> no, no. I, would, I just want to check it. I just want to see if it works. I pull it out and I say, I need something, and I look in it, into it. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's that uh, magic box you got here? Well, <laughs> when we was in the tower, uh, you would just tell it you needed something, and it would give you some random stuff. My, Mike right now is going, you cocksucker. No, only because I got to pull up the document that has <laughs> <laughs> the list. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, still got my roll percentage. Oh, percentage. Yep, sorry. There you go. <laughs> oh, good lord. Thirteen. Mm. Oh. Didn't I roll thirteen right. the last time? You uh, you you pull out a single arrow. Ooh, I was short an arrow or two actually. Let me see. That's exactly what I needed. Piece of shit. Well, I think we we know it. <laughs> it, it only has three charges at any one t at any in any given day, right? Yeah, yes, that's that what. Way. That's that's the uh, conclusion that you have come to. That uh, you can pull from it three times, and then it resets at dawn the next day. Well, we hadn't come to that conclusion, but we have now. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we hadn't had another day to test it. <laughs> well, we assumed it. Well, so, no, because the last time you tested it was before dawn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember I rolled and got nothing, and then yeah. somebody else rolled and got nothing. Okay, so uh, uh, Fuego, roll. And now you roll let's see what you get. All right. Okay, box. I need something. <laughs> You're getting a platter of cupcakes. Okay. Oh, shit. No, I don't you, know. What uh, you, you pull out a small vial full of liquid, and it has a, uh, a s small label on it that says sleeping potion. Hmm. Ooh. I'll All take right, that. <laughs> <laughs> You got a roofie. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got yeah. something to roof. See, now that, that's the way you can take advantage of some of the women in uh, in Prince Town that way. Sleeping. Sofa. Yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, right. Would so, a paladin really entertain that sort of thought? No, I wouldn't, but <laughs> Although, no. that sounds like a really fantastic idea. This might work on the dragon. There you go. Maybe. Possibly. Really right, better. Do we, want to, do we want to use the third charge and see what I can get? Um... Or do we want to hold on to Come it on just in time. case? Well, no, we could. I mean, yeah, let's hold on to it because, yeah. Yeah, because you never know. That might that might actually give us something useful if we're in the middle of a you know a tense situation. <laughs> you know who hasn't <laughs> tested it? Um, the ranger hasn't tested it, so maybe the next time we'll have him test it. Okay. I'd love to test your magic box. <laughs> <laughs> there, it is. there it is. There it is. There you go. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah. Yeah. We're all 15, about some magic boxes. Fifteen minutes into the into the show, we've already got a dad joke. All right. So uh after you finish playing with your box <laughs> Finish doodling your oh, box. Here we go. You uh stuck in roll on a minute. You uh, you head you head off down the road again, and uh, you come and uh, you see a sign. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, that's gonna be. Uh... <laughs> okay, all right. And the sign says, in very ominous letters, warning. All use of magic within town limits will be punished. All right. So, so, so before we cross this line, which we don't mind crossing <laughs> lines, but we need to make sh using the box is technically using magic. So we need to determine probably, guys, when we go in here, is how do they know we're using magic? Yeah. How can they, how can they tell? Yeah, do they have a permanent detect magic spell? 
Mm. Is there some kind of check we can do when we're in there? I don't know. We'd have to use magic. Arcana, arcana, <laughs> check, arcana check on the uh, on the town. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Do we want to give the box another spin, or well, how far away from the town are we, uh, Master Ranger? You you would be about a mile away from the town. <clears throat> okay, we're about a mile away from the town. I say let him let him take a shot. Let him shoot his shot. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot your wad in our into our magic box. Oh wow. <laughs> I say, box, I need something. Yep. And then exactly. you're holding it, you reach in and roll a percentage dice. That'd be a good idea, though. Um, right. 90%. Okay. <laughs> box. I need something. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, <laughs> naturally, the new guy. The new guy gets something fucking cool. Well, mm -hmm. if you consider a bowling ball to be cool, that's exactly what he pulls out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta shut up more. I gotta not say anything. Jesus, a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be an effective, uh, uh, effective bludgeoning, uh, weapon. bludgeoning weapon. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what's the bowling, bowling ball. ball made from? It's made of wood. Okay. He said wood. You got wood balls. <laughs> you got one wood ball. Yeah, don't think one of it. One wooden uh, ball from the magic box. Don't think of it as like a modern type of bowling ball, but you know, a lawn bowling. Sure. Uh, ball. You know, Hockey it probably ball. only weighs about five pounds. Uh, you know, size of a what you would consider like a small. So I could throw ball. it. So you could yeet it. Hey, it's a yeet ball. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeet ball. <laughs> yeet ball. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> right back to episode four. <laughs> hey, man, yeet your ball. Okay, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna yeet my ball. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. Just hold not on. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> save it for a save it for a battle. Then yeet your ball. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll put the ball, the uh, bowling pack or pack. The the goddess says that you poured the sleep potion onto the ball and yeeted at somebody. Oh God, that might work. <laughs> <laughs> yeeted at the dragon. Maybe the dragon will swallow the ball. <clears throat> okay, so. Um... <clears throat> We need to make sure we impress upon our mage, uh, Gimbal, not to use magic, and Carquin, not to use magic, and Grangle. Right. We we need to figure out what they determine as magic. Uh, are, is healing allowed? Um, we need to figure that out. That's for sure, guys. Uh, yeah. Now let's let's continue to the town. Maybe we can ask. Uh... Uh, someone, uh, exactly what do you consider magic? So, <clears throat> all right. <coughs> Define I, I, magic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's no magic, so. So that's the first thing you say to this, uh, well, the first person you come to is this, uh, this young man. Seems to be on an errand of some sort. Uh, well met, good sir. Uh, we're travelers from Erlent. Uh, we noticed on the outskirts of your town a sign that said, uh, uh, any use of magic will be punished. Uh, um, can you tell us, sir, what, uh, um, do you, does that also include any type of healing? Well, I don't know about that, sir, but uh, everybody around here is absolutely against magic. We don't do any kind of magic whatsoever. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we just burned a witch not too long ago. A witch? <laughs> a witch? May we burn her? <laughs> so you burned, uh, burned a witch, did you, as a um, someone who lives in your town? 
Oh, yes. And how she, could tell? she was an old woman who was doing magic secretly inside of her house. And uh, when it when they when the the elders found out, they they had a trial and everyone was there. And and we brought her right here to the middle of the square and we we burned her at the stake. It was glorious. Yeah, and how was it determined that she was doing magic secretly in her house? Oh, I, I don't know how they found out, but the, the city council and the, the the high cleric, they all know all of these things. They figure these things out. I'm really sorry, sir, but I've got to go. I've got things to do for my master. Oh, very, very well, sir. Can you, at least before you leave, point me in the direction of the high cleric? And the little boy runs off before he could answer your question. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. Hmm. Gee, someone got clipped. I'm sorry. What? So, is this a busy intersection, or are we kind of on our own right now? Well, where you stand, let me go ahead and uh, open some things up for you. So, nobody's within. Uh, let me ask this question, DM: Is anybody within earshot of us? Well, you. Uh, you you are in a a somewhat busy town. It's not a, a city. This is a very rural place. So there are some people that are going about their daily business. It it looks as though there's there laborers, farmers, uh, general merchants. Um, it does not appear that anybody's really paying any attention to you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I gather everybody together. And and have them all tighten up so that it, they can hear me whisper. I can whisper, right? Relative with sure. relative ease. Uh, look, we need to be careful in here, guys. These people will burn you for anything. It's not that we can't get out of it. It's just we don't need collateral damage. Yeah. Agreed. So I will maintain, even though I am somewhat angry about the way they seem to have kangaroo courts. I will mind my peace. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm forgetting. Remind me. We're, come, we're here because we hope maybe these people can point us in the direction where there might be a dragon, right? Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so we're going to want to talk to like a leader or something, right? Yeah, right. we need to find the... Uh, the high cleric or the mayor or somebody or both. Imagine we'll probably find them somewhere near each other. Uh, so we're going to go into town and ask anybody that doesn't seem too busy to direct us towards the uh, cleric and such. Sounds good. It's amazing they got a cleric, but they don't do magic. Okay. Which is interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. I guess go to the fireplace or the next intersection. So uh, when you get right about here, uh, you can see that uh, that is obviously where they held the witch burning. Oh. Uh, there are still some remnants of uh, bone and a pile of ash. These two people on the other side, are they? Uh, who, who do they appear to be? Uh, they look like uh, some of the city guards. They have some uh, some low rent uh, leather armor. Uh, look like homemade wooden shields, uh, short swords at their sides. And then this is the, a farmer, I guess. Yeah, there's laborers. Uh, that that looks uh, like the blacksmith. Uh, you can hear. Some hammering uh, coming from inside the shop. Kind of looks <clears> like <throat> the blacksmith. People carrying goods, uh, you know, down the road. Shall we approach the city guards and see if they can point us in the direction of the mayor or the high cleric? Sure. Sounds good. And see how you do the best at speaking to people without losing your temper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I approach the guards. Uh, Hail and well met, good sirs. Uh, uh, my companion and I would, uh, if possible, like to have an audience with the mayor and uh, and or the uh, 
high cleric of your town. Well, as you approach these two individuals, you uh, see that they are actually uh, very hefty women, very muscular, mm, Amazonian, if you will. Daddy oh, likes a big girl. <laughs> um, so, um, Tigo so babies. So my uh, my uh, my mistake, ladies. <laughs> can you can you please? Uh, uh, direct us to your uh, your town mayor and or the uh, the high cleric of your town. What's your business with the mayor or the cleric? <clears throat> We're on a quest from uh, from a faraway town. Uh, the uh, details of the business would be best discussed with uh, with your mayor and your high cleric. Well, which one do you want to see, the mayor or the cleric? Let's, uh, if we would, let's start with the cleric. So they motion you to follow them. Okay. And so uh, we, we fall in behind them and follow them. Come on. I get the feeling, guys. Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so they uh, bring you through town. Up to here. Yeah. All right, so uh, as you get to the northern end of town, uh, you can see that uh, the... The buildings are obviously much better condition. Uh, the, the the more well-to-do and prosperous individuals live at this uh, this side. <clears throat> and on a small <clears throat> hill overlooking the rest of the town is not a cathedral, but a very large church. And uh, just as you get there, a uh, very large woman who is obviously the chief cleric is coming out of the front of the church uh, surrounded by uh, some other city guards who are also women they appear to also be women uh, okay okay and uh one of the guards that brought you there uh, approaches, speaks quietly to the uh, to the cleric, and then uh, she approaches your party. Let me just move some people around. <clears throat> and uh, in a very diplomatic way, uh, addresses the the group. Welcome to Prince Town. I hear that you wanted to have an audience with me. Pray tell me, what service can we be to you? Um, <clears throat> my good lady, I'm um, a good cleric. We would, uh, if possible, like to speak with you um, uh, as as privately as possible in regards to our and to our as our business as we. Pass through your fair town. Well, I'm sorry that I can't give you any more privacy than we have here in the middle of the street. You see, I must make my rounds throughout the town, visiting the poor and the sick and the invalids. And that, of course, takes precedence over visitors, uh, strangers like yourselves. So... Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention that uh, she introduced herself as uh, as Lady Cronus. Uh, oh. So whatever business you have, uh, either it will have to wait until this evening, or you can spend a few moments and tell me now. Good Lady Cronus, we will uh, we will uh, don't seek to delay you any more than necessary. So I will tell you we are passing through your good town uh in a uh on a quest um 
or a specific uh, uh, specific item of uh, belonging to a dragon. I some specifically looking for some dragon's blood. Uh, we were told that perhaps there might be someone here in your fair town who might have knowledge of where we might locate such an item. And she uh, she laughs. Dragons, dragon's blood. I can't think of a single person uh, who. Oh wait, that's not true. I can think of someone who might uh, have these kind of grandiose ideas that dragons once lived in this area, and that would be the uh, the scribe. Um, Dang it. <laughs> Scribe, dang it. How do you spell that? <laughs> His name is Methus. Or, I'm sorry, Me uh, Methius. The Scribe Methius. He comes here maybe once or twice a month to resupply himself with food and provisions and scrolls and what not as he goes about his business out uh, in the, uh, the western reaches in that dead city but hmm. uh it's all fairy tales it's all legends there are no dragons here and there haven't been dragons here for <clears throat> a thousand years well, very well, ma'am. The uh, if you would, you say that uh, the scribe Methius uh, inhabits uh, the western reaches uh, at a, in a dead city. Yes. Could you could you direct us? Uh, uh, obviously, it's to the west, but it's specifically a certain road that we should take to uh, to you know make our way towards where we might find this Methius. Well, I don't know. I've never been over there, and no one in their right minds would ever go there, which explains why Metheus spends so much time there. He's not in his right mind. But, of course, I can tell by your appearance that you are adventurers, and you also are probably not in your right minds. Uh, so you will no doubt be heading out there, and if you just go west until you hit the mountains, I'm sure – that you will have no problem finding him. Now, if you will excuse me, I have parishioners to attend to. Good Thank day, you for your time, good lady. And she begins to walk off. All right, let's. Uh, uh, we're we're gonna our party's gonna huddle up uh, off to the uh, to the west here, uh, maybe away from more. More prying ears, and we'll have a little discussion about what we were just told. So, um, I just wanted to have a little bit of acknowledgement that I maintained my po composure and didn't beat her big ass. Well, and I appreciate, <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Just thank you. Um, I, I don't do, I do to because I wanted to get her out too. Do, does anyone feel like we need to hang out in this town very much longer? <laughs> we probably need to resupply uh, and get a good night's rest in a um, – where is – where is a fuego? In an inn. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't even see you. I don't know if you – Is rest in an inn, like, different than rest at camp? Nope. I'm right there. No. Oh, you he were was, underneath he, somebody. Okay, I was He like, was underneath the, uh, the ranger. Oh yeah. All right. Well, so um, so we want to spend the night here in a in an inn. Uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll approach uh, the, that nearest guard and ask him if he can direct us to uh, to a uh, an inn here in the town that uh, would be able to put us up for the evening. Yeah. I'm yeah. Shy. He he mentions uh, he mentions an inn, uh, which is not a problem. And fellas. Okay. As we're walking, I tell you, I, I've noticed something about this town. It is uh, very military laid out. It's dress right dress. The buildings are square. The roads are square for the most part. 
Yeah, I've also noticed that uh, most there's no men. There's no men. Well, well no, it was, uh, the it was a young you, boy. There, there are men. You okay. did notice that a lot of the the people walking around town, uh, and also in some of the shops that you pass by, there are men in the town. It's men are not absent. I'd like to but, ask, but the I, leaders are women. I'd like to ask uh, one of the the town folk who don't seem to be too busy. Uh, good, good sir, or ma'am, binary, non-binary citizen. <laughs> uh, what is the deity of this town that the cleric from the church up there worships? I failed to ask when I saw. So, so what's this religion all about? This. Uh, this guy right here. Um, this guy. Um, he looks at you strangely, and he he says, "Well, I I, I don't understand <coughs> what you mean by deity." Well, we're adventurers, and we've gone to many lands, and they worship many different gods, whether real or not. And we're just curious. We didn't see any identifying markings on the church to, on the the holy place to identify what deity you guys worship. Or give praise to. Oh. Well, the cleric is in charge of uh, all the worship. Okay, but who who is the worship directed at? What creature? What god? What entity? The cleric. Do you worship the cleric? Oh no, no, we would not do that. That would that would not be <laughs> proper. Uh, I I guess um, I guess you could say that uh, we don't necessarily worship a god. Uh, like other people worship, uh, but we do worship uh, an idea. Oh, well, uh, would you we we you worship the idea of of uh, what uh, trying to keep all these names straight. Uh, <laughs> we worship the idea uh, of what Lady Cronus uh, calls science. Ah, science. I've heard of that. Say, they're secular humanists. <laughs> I see science. Thank you, good sir, ma'am, non-binary citizen. <laughs> it's a man. Well, it's a man, thank, man. It's a man, man. Thank you, thank you, good sir. Uh, wh where from here should we uh, should we go to find the inn? It doesn't matter because we don't have an inn to put you into. I mean, we're all just going to look at this <laughs> map right here until you figure out what you're going to do. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, uh, what time of day the... is it? Uh, it's about noon. Shit, we should have went to the wood camp. I don't know who the fuck talked us into coming here. <laughs> um. So, uh. Does it, are there any street urchins, perhaps, or shady people? Where in the inn? In the in the town. In the town. <laughs> well, they all look shady, uh, but as far as urchins, you really don't notice any homelessness. You don't notice any beggars. Um, so everyone just seems to standing around looking. Just being observant. Yeah, maybe uh, you know a few of the shopkeepers. They're standing outside or in their doorways. I mean, it is raining, and you know it's not I'm, something that people really want to do is stand out in the rain. Right. I, I'm attempting to, as we're walking to the inn, attempting to see if there's anybody in that looks to me like they'd be part of a thieves guild or a thief or something to that effect. Uh. Roll a perception check. Or actually, yeah, an investigation. Uh, I like perception better. <laughs> I 
I got bonuses on. See? I knew it. I knew it. Fucking knew it. I don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you when you get to the inn, you do notice that there is a guy who who seems a little shady, but you're not exactly getting the vibe that he's like a, a professional rogue like yourself. All right. Uh, I use some thieves can't to see if he even recognizes it. Basically, uh, do you understand the, the greeting symbol? So that yeah, he uh, he gives you uh, the proper response. Okay. I would uh, once we establish our rooms, I'd like to talk to him. Buy him a beer, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's no problem. You get in, you get yourself settled, and uh, you you can talk to this guy at the bar. Uh, how much How much is our room going to cost? Uh, I mean, for everybody, uh, for, the, uh, for one night, uh, you, you haggle the guy down to a, a total. Uh, how many rooms do you want? Three. Well, uh, I mean... We could share one big room if they got it. it we're, we're, we just want to be alone. Can we get all six of us in there? Okay, so uh, – Any he, combination uh, up to six, obviously. We don't want he, to be sleeping with somebody else. It, it, it's it's going to be – it's going to be two gold pieces for everybody in one big room. All right. I'll, I'll pay for this this one. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. No worries. Just to make it easy. I get the floor. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I go downstairs and we get us some supper. <laughs> and uh, is the the guy still there? Yeah, he's there. All right. Uh, I purchase an extra ale to be sent to him and sit next to him at the bar and. Uh, in low voices, ask him some questions. Um, basically, hey, we're new to this city, and we're just trying to get the feel for it. Um, we're not here long, but uh, have you been in this town long? You asked him how long has he been there? Yeah. Uh, well, sir, I, I, I was born and, and raised in this town. Yeah. I know everything there is to know about this place. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, the fact that you speak thieves' camp in a can't in a small town that doesn't seem to have a large thieves' guild makes me wonder if you're the guy who runs the uh, thieves of the neighborhood. Well, that's he looks camp. a little nervous when you bring that up. Oh, don't don't worry, brother. We are from out of town. I merely want information. I want to make sure I'm talking to the right person. Well, sir, uh, I, there is no guild. Uh, there's just really me. Uh, I, I did try my hand at uh, joining a guild when I was uh, in the city a long time ago, but uh, that didn't work out. So I came back here and basically tried to eke out a sparse living off the Rich muckety mucks up north. Oh, up north. Rich, rich people live up north. North, north end of town. North end of town. I see. I see. Um, I wonder, my good man. Uh, how are the people with uh, the? I don't even know how to say it. Religion of science, perhaps, or the guidance of the science. How do, they, how do they say it around here? How do they worship science? Yes, yes. Well, we take care of ourselves. We do things and we figure out how things work, and uh, we don't rely on any of that uh, strange, otherworldly devil power that uh, other people like to use. Ah, I see. I was just curious. I, I'd never heard of 
and forgive me, uh, we've been many places, and there's religion, and, and then there's, you know, science, where you guys have, what you have here is science, and it's new, it's new to me, and I was just curious how it worked. Uh, what kind of science do you work on? I, I, I just don't understand the concept, if you wouldn't mind expre expressing it to me. Well, I don't know if I'm really the one to be talking about it. Uh, it, it it's really the 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 cleric's uh, place to to teach us these things. But uh, you know, everyone just goes about their their life, and if there's a problem, we solve it. Okay. I, I, I heard coming in that you had a witch. How did they come to that? Oh, you want to talk about the witch? witch. Careful. <laughs> oh, I, we just curious how you discovered one. We've we've not run into one in, in our adventures. <laughs> that I find hard to believe. Well, not a witch, per se. We've run into magic users of, of sorts, but uh, we've never run into a witch. Like a bona fide evil witch. Well, I don't know how they found her out, but somebody did, and they brought it to the attention of the cleric and the council, and she was arrested, she was put on public trial, she was found guilty, and punished by burning. I see, I see. Uh, were you there for the trial? Did you hear any of the trial parts of it? I... I... No, I wasn't there for the trial. Uh, most of the town was there for the trial, so that's like my prime working hours. Oh, I understand. I understand. It makes good sense. That's that's smart. That's smart. You're quite an accomplished individual, if you know what I mean. I get by. Very good, sir. Um, where can we find a general store and a blacksmith, if you don't mind me asking? Well, the blacksmith is just down the street, and uh, the, there's plenty of stores if you're looking for provisions. Well, thank you, brother. We really, I really appreciate your your honesty and and your upfrontness. In fact, uh, I put on the table or on the counter enough coins for him to get a couple more beers. Let me buy the next few rounds for you. Thank you, sir. I very much appreciate it. How much does that cost? And uh, I would like you to also uh, roll another perception check. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. Daddy's back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't perceive shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, later on, uh, before you go to bed, Tonight, you'll uh, find that you're missing about five gold coins. Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, alrighty then. I ain't all right. shit for the rest of the adventure. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I go back to the guys and express what I've learned from the thief. That uh, and then in the morning when I count my gold, I realize he he got me, and I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm just disappointed in myself. We need to go ahead and uh, I, I expended a few arrows. So did anybody else use arrows up? I used a used a couple of arrows in our in our battle before the rangers got there. So one of us just buy like, you know, 20 arrows, we just split it. Yeah, so um just tell me what it is that you're you're trying to do and uh I would like to buy another rope. Um how long? Another 50 foot rope. I think they come in 50-foot increments. Just 50 feet. 
Well, I got I got one fifty foot one, and I was just gonna have two of them. Well, I've already hung myself. The goddess wanted to know if I wanted <laughs> to hang myself in it. I was like, I've already hung myself. <laughs> you know that old joke, right? <clears throat> The mm -hmm. man standing up there before the judge, and he's sentencing him. He says, "Your sentence for your crime is that you'll be taking out, taking out to the gallows and hung." And the wife hollers out, "Your Honor, he's already hung." And, <laughs> and the guy, the guy says, "Your Honor, I'd like to high five my wife if that's okay." <laughs> before I die. Before I die. <laughs> All right, so yeah, just uh, just tell me what, what it is that you're looking for, and uh, th there's there's places where you can find your you know commonplace uh, adventure equipment. So like arrows, bolts, rope, things like that. Yeah, not a problem to find. I buy a bundle of arrows um, for uh, Gringle and Francis to split. Thank you, sir. So I, oh, that I would give us it. that would give us both ten more arrows because like uh, the bundle comes in twenty, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, nobody else needs arrows. That was one gold that cost me. I think. I should have the twenty that I started with. I don't know if anything else would be a good buy from yeah. my character. Can't yeah. really tell. It probably it probably would. Um, you probably need some more stuff, but um, I think I should have more than twenty. And if, if Mike, if Led's good with it, we can um, assume that you did it, and then once we can get you in, we'll figure out what you need. Okay. And What's that? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, I got a rope, so I change that with one gold. What else do I need? Although a crowbar probably would be. I have a crowbar. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, my dumbass has had a crowbar since day one, and <laughs> we're fucking smashing shit open, and I got a crowbar the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> I saw that the other day. Went, oh, you dumbass. That's okay. Looking through this stuff, um, I just figured out um, is the blacksmith in this town capable of? Silvering your feedback is because apparently I can silver my part of my armor and my sword that I may have been able to use against the uh, shadow. Ah, so you want to do yeah, silver well, inlays? Yep. Keep 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 in mind that that that's going to be a very uh, uh, involved process. No, not, not not right now. Not right now. And uh, even back. even so, the 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 skill level uh, of the blacksmith here in Prince Town seems to be very rudimentary. He's uh, mostly dealing okay. with horses and basic tools. Okay, just a question. I just hey, ran Prince Town, it, it <laughs> seems like a you know seems like your your run of the mill backwater town, except for the little quirks that they seem to have. Uh, you know they're they're not a metropolis, uh, but they're not oh, uh, no, I... you know a little <laughs> hamlet. They they seem to be a kind of wish I'd... a small town. I yeah, kind of wish I'd have seen that back in Arab. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm I'm sitting here looking at this, going, oh god, we haven't done mm -hmm. a check on equipment in forever. How's it going, guys? Hey, you made it. Hey, you made it. Halt, who goes there? <laughs> so right now we're at the blacksmith and the general store gathering stuff up to go west. Uh, okay. This town is very uh, – it, when we walked in, it said no magic allowed, so mind yourself. Comment. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no turning into bears and stuff. <laughs> Spiders. <laughs> So yeah, it's, oh. it looks magical, but it's not. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, but they will. They burn a witch last uh, week, so make good decisions. Fair you know enough. What I'm <laughs> yeah, they, they burn a witch with very shady um, um, an idea of how she. When it's all said and done, all all the equipment that you guys are looking for for the entire party. Uh, will cost uh, a total of 15 gold. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I already took... Um... That's going to include the dinner that mine. At, the, at the inn. That's going to include uh, your turndown service, breakfast in the morning, and uh, anything else that you do. Tug and rub. A good few more days of rations. Tug and rub. Yeah. I get cool. a guess on the tug and rub. <laughs> tug and rub. There is, <laughs> <laughs> there is none. Oh, okay, just checking. Oh. <laughs> tug and rub. <laughs> Sorry, there's only one. There's probably only one, and she's already committed. No, there's none. Yeah, I took uh, four gold off already for me. I'll and remove I three paid for me. the in, which was three, so that's seven. So you guys, between you, has got to come up with eight. Because I just don't want to fuck with it. I will dedicate three, three to the cause. I'll donate three, whatever, three, it, whatever, you, whatever you need me to donate. Let me know. I think I'm. Uh, I'll put five in the pot for that. Yeah, there's only four left, so yeah, just figure it out. Whatever, it don't matter. I'll throw in a cut. You looking for a couple of gold pieces? I'll toss in a couple of gold. Yeah. Well, I got at least fifteen, right? Why don't I, since I'm the new guy, uh, contribute to you guys and and pay for all of it? Well, don't worry about it. Yeah, we got you covered right now. Access to your we, we got you covered, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we got you covered right now. Don't worry about it. We got you, bro. <clears throat> So this is we got some distinctly far eastern music playing here. Is this a... No, this is uh known as Prince Town theme. Ah, okay. That sounds very uh very uh Chinese. <laughs> it does have a Chinese feel to it. Probably with the flute and the and the striking keyboard, but uh, just out of curiosity, is there a place to, is there a, is there a large tent we can purchase? You want a large tent? Well, if we got horses to travel, I mean, it would be, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll, we I'll, forgot I'll, we had horses. We didn't even put them in a stable. Do they have a stable? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I forgot we even had the horses. Yeah. Or a nice you have horses. Jesus. Yes, I, I know. Oh, I know you guys forgot you had horses, but I didn't forget you had horses. I just assumed <laughs> that We're eventually awesome. you would remember you had horses. All right, so uh, we remembered. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get a tent too, because it'd be nice if we had another really rainy night like we had the other night too. Uh, yeah, a place to bunker down. Yeah. Francis has already spent enough gold. I'll let you guys work that out. So, how, how much for a large? How much for a tent large enough to uh, to sleep us all? Um, uh, let's see. A two-person tent is the um, the guy who has a tent. He's uh, he's like, hey, this tent. It's almost like new. Make me an offer. I got a very special deal for you, my friend. <laughs> I had a very, very special deal for you. Uh, let's see. I'll give you... A... Uh, how big is the tent? Uh, it will definitely hold six people. Oh, wow. Hmm. Would it Five go six Five people gold? in there? I'll take it. Oh God! <laughs> Never send Grangle out. 
<laughs> hey, you're talking about a tent that's big enough to sleep six people. Okay. Uh, this conversation. Wanna, before hey before before we before we close the deal here, I want to inspect the tent. <laughs> there you go. Sir, you said we had a deal. Before we close the deal, <laughs> I want to inspect the tent. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night with rain pouring in on me. I've altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, okay, feel free, set it up. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll unpack the tent and just do a, a good inspection of it to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. No holes or all the tent pegs and tie downs are there. Yes, all the ropes, poles, stakes, they all seem to be there. The tent seems to be a little worn but it's not unserviceable. There are no holes in it. Um, it could probably use some more, uh, you know, some oil or something, whatever they do to waterproof uh, a tent back then. Uh, but it seems like it will serve your purposes. I'll tell them, say, what's, I'll, I'll say to the gentleman, well, while you said it was near new, uh, uh, that description seems to be a little off. I would ask for the uh, for the five gold I'm going to be giving you for this tent that you would go ahead and uh, uh, rub some uh, rub the oil on it to, to uh, make it a little more waterproof before we close our transaction <laughs> here. So you're going to rub the oil on the tent. I want I want him to put the waterproofing I'll on. Tell you what, I want him to rub the oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rub the rub the oil on this big blue dick. <laughs> I don't say that to him, but <laughs> all right, he's very upset about uh, you being such a hard on about this tent, <laughs> but he rubs the oil on the tent. He puts the oil on its skin. <laughs> he puts the oil on the tent, or it gets the hose again. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. After he uh, gets the tent oiled up, I roll it back up and I give him his five gold and uh, tell him thank him for his uh, for the uh, for the tent. He goes he goes away uh, into the night. Into the night. Holy shit! This is shady. <laughs> <Whoa>. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he basically closes the door and turns out the lamp and. He's done for the day. I bet he is. Oops, sorry, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got provisions. We've got a uh, tent. We've got pretty much everything we need. We're ready to bed down for the night. Yes. yes. All righty then. Okay, so... You uh, bed down for the night, and except for uh, noticing that uh, whenever you go down into the common room of the inn, uh, you notice that there's always at least one of the city guards there. And they seem to be there specifically to watch you uh they're keeping an eye on you um hmm. but other than that the night passes uneventfully uh and in the morning uh you find that uh, a crow lands outside your window begins pecking at the uh at the window to be let in uh is it uh, like our private room where the guards aren't sitting next to? Arquin, is that your uh, <laughs> Harry Potter familiar? <laughs> have a, have a mail in its talons. Yes, it, it's it's knocking at the window to your room. I I try to let it in. 
I open the window a little bit to let it in. Okay. The crow comes into the room, and it goes straight to uh, Ranger Lemmy and delivers a mm. message to him. All right. What's the message, message say? You've been accepted to Hogwarts. <laughs> no, no, no. This, You're this a wizard, is motherfucker. <laughs> the old wizard, Harry. All right. So I'll let uh, I'll let one of the other party members read the uh, message. All right. Uh, I don't have my glasses. Uh, help me uh, out. All right. Ranger Lemmy, be advised that the Duke's right hand. Dio Volente has left the city, heading south by sea, with a large condition of troops. Tensions are uncleared at this time. However, there are some rumors of goblin sightings north of the city. We are checking on this and will keep you advised as we learn more. Let the party know that we suspect some things are afoot, but things are unclear as of yet. Okay, so they've, they've dispatched a contingent of soldiers to the south by sea. Mm. Yes. That's just... So who's the Duke again? Uh, Duke Albion. Heard of him yet. Okay. And uh, the, the note is signed Blurdan Crookback. So um, Duke Albion is the Prince Regent. Yes. Yes. Okay. And he's just clarify that. that. He's dispatched soldiers to the south of Ireland by sea. Hmm. <clears throat> and let's pull the hermit's map up. Okay. Da, 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 da. Grab the hook. Hook doesn't help. So. Hmm. Uh, okay. Not much to the south, as far as we can. No. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Uh, and what was the rest of the note? He's heading south by sea by large contingent of troops. His intentions are unclear. There are rumors of goblin sightings to the north of the city. Uh, we are checking on this, and we'll keep you advised as we learn more. Let the party know that we suspect some things are afoot. That things are unclear as of yet. Who's breaking up bad? Well, at this okay. point, I think uh, we should continue on with our mission. All right, we should also mm -hmm. note that we're being watched in this city. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to stick around long because yeah, Francis I don't think we should trouble. stick around long. I'm you know, just... we, need to, we need to be rolling out of here quickly. <laughs> I'm just a simple traveler. <laughs> All right, so uh, so we we uh. Have a quick discussion about that. Uh, feel, is there anybody that feels like we need to <laughs> cut short this uh, this quest to the west, or do we want to continue? I don't see any reason to cut it short. We need to move our arse. Okay. Yeah, I, so, I, I think we should just not delay as much. All right, so let's uh, – we're going to have a uh, – basically grab some uh, whatever, like biscuits and whatever it is that they have uh, – down in the uh, common room for breakfast, and we're gonna eat on. We're gonna eat on the way out. Is the guard okay. still there? Is the what? The guard still there? Uh, yeah. There's always a guard somewhere, uh, oh. watching you while you're in the town. Well, we we are the strangers of the town. We we stick out like a sore thumb, so. I okay. heard the witch before we came, so it's all good. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, uh, so that's that's the plan. We uh, we grab a we grab breakfast to go, and we head out and uh, to the stables and mount up and begin our travel to the to the uh, that dead dead city at the base of the mountains. Okay. So the uh, the inn is right here. Uh, is right where? Okay. Right there. Okay. Um, which way do you plan on going? It's to west and south, right? Yes, more it's, it's, it's west southwest. Okay, so we need to go this way. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
more yeah more towards the trees right here i guess but following that road i guess more or less so what do we see in here as we go by here uh there's a bunch of windmills on top of some uh some high ground uh where it appears that that's where they grind all the grain that that they grow okay So how how far can we get uh, um, in a day's travel? Well, you can actually travel quite a ways, uh, but uh, for sake of uh, the story here, after a few hours leaving the town, uh, and you also notice that, or you don't notice that anyone is following you after you leave town, uh, you come to a fork in the road. I pick up the fork and put it in my backpack. <laughs> Can't say I didn't see that coming. Yeah, Long is there also a spoon? It's, it's a giant pitchfork. I would pit. say, uh, based on the map, the hermit's map. Want to take the right fork? Uh, yeah. Well, well of course, you want to take the right fork, but which one's the right fork? <laughs> Got him, yeah. but, um, um, Does the ranger have any knowledge of the area here? Yeah, let's let's consult our ranger here. He only knows what he's seen on the map. Uh, should I roll a survival <laughs> check on this? No, we'll just pick one and go. Great maps. Let's 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 go right. So if we go left, it's going to run us along the. The lake, right? The Dernal, Dernal Lake? Yeah. And we'd you run down and we'd have to take a hard right. But if we take the trail, it may lead us, the, the right trail, it may lead us directly to it. Yeah. Yeah, let's go right. Everyone agreed to take the right uh, right fork? Yep. As I Not said, I, I would run a, I'll roll right. a survival to see if I could. Right, right fork as we're walking, not right fork as we're looking. That's that's the right. left fork as we're walking. Right. No, I, I, my character freaked out for a minute. Uh, look, there you go. My head's pointing in the direction we're going. Because I was trying to get over here. And I've been drinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. <clears throat> get off me. You take the right fork and uh, you travel for a day. You rest, you travel for another day, you rest, and on uh, the late morning of the third day, dun, dun, dun. Roll for it. You, you find yourself uh, in, uh, well, the, the, the forest has given away to uh, like a rocky uh, hinterland. You know, there's not a whole lot of uh, trees and grass. It's... Uh, more uh not quite desert but the mountains are looming very close and uh ahead of you you see let me show you what you see you see these nuts <laughs> the uh the road seems to lead you to uh what appears to be the 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 ruins of uh, some buildings. The dead Ooh. city. Must <laughs> be a dead city. All right. Dead it's city getting... rules. And you can tell all the all the military guys. First thing to do is they post up on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> huh. It's good cover. Uh, I, I want to do a perception of the area to kind of get a feel for what I'm. It, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, what the words I want to use. Um. I kind of want to. How old does this look? Uh, it. It doesn't look ancient. The style of some of the buildings, or what remains of the buildings that you could see. Uh, seem very, very old, but, uh, you know, not ancient. 
Hmm. Is, are well, there? Do, do we see any any uh, structures that are still whole, as if someone could inhabit them? Maybe if there's signs of recent activity. Not where you stand, no. Uh, all right, I'm gonna um, let's see here. I'm gonna use my uh, divine sense and see if I sense any evil. Francis, go still. All right, you do not sense any evil. I'm going to survival to see if there has been any other activity besides wild animals. Okay. Just traveling the area. Ranger, you might be able to do stuff too. He's gonna fail I, that. I didn't, apparently, I just see our footprints. <laughs> I don't know what checks I can do, but if I can do any checks to find out if there's been any kind of activity in the area, uh, I'd like to do that. Uh, I'm gonna take I a look at your uh... perception. Okay, so you have uh, four in perception, a two in survival. He can uh, expel a primal evil awareness. Uh, beginning at third level, you can use your action, expend one ranger spell slot to focus your awareness of the region around you. Oh, quick update to Cartwin. Um, uh, Lemmy is audio only, so he doesn't have access to the stuff. Primeval awareness is an option for him. Okay, where is that located? On the right hand side of his yeah. spell. Uh, it's in his. Uh, right oh, I side. see. Okay, yeah, so he's got primeval awareness. He also has natural explorer mountain. Are we in the mountains? We're at the foothills. Uh, you're in the foothills. I would say that this would apply to where you are. Okay. Okay. What is that? What uh, does the natural explorer entail? Well, that's. Uh, I think we're just not getting ambushed. <laughs> okay. So. It says that uh, you're just particularly a traveling and surviving so I, that doesn't apply to this what you're trying to do um and the primeval awareness uh, allows you to sense whether following types of creatures are present within one mile of you uh aberrations dragons elementals fiends undead Ooh doesn't reveal their location or number. Okay. That sounds like so, a good idea. Let's do primeval awareness. Good idea. There's and, and none like of those, you, you don't get the indication that any of those things are in the area. Okay. Unfortunately, it does not reveal that there's humans in the area. Let, uh, let me uh, see if you can get on because you're uh, pretty clear right now. You're not getting any no, kind of I, delay or I've chop been, or anything. I've been put out sometimes from you guys. But, so uh, you guys are oh, hearing okay. me clear. I don't know if it's coming back my way. If uh, if you wanted to do a perception check uh, to see if there's, you know, been people moving through. Yeah, recently. we're trying to find the path to this uh, this guy. I forgot his name. I had it written down. Uh, yeah, Peter. we're trying to find uh, Methius. M yeah, me Methius or Methius. Methius yeah. or Methius. Uh, quick recap. Who's Methius? Methius? Oh, uh, Methius is a scribe who may know where the dragons are. Okay. There's All your right. perception check. <laughs> 20. We'll take that one. Lemmy got a 20. Yeah, so uh, your your ranger sees uh, that there has been some, uh, within the past uh, three days, there has been some, a person who has walked on this trail, 
So I would say uh, right about where uh, where Grangle is, he sees that there are footprints that are leading to the southwest. All right, Ranger, uh, to track those track those footprints for us. Yeah, if I can see the direction, let's go towards that direction. Try to find this guy. And I am <clears throat> to stealth mode. Yeah, baby. All day. Yeah, but I'm to stealth mode. Okay. Okay, how long does that primeval awareness last? A minute, approximately. Um. Oh, I, it I is forget, one mile, so it's. I, I forget what it said, but it's it's basically uh, while you concentrate on it, and it's basically like you concentrate for a minute, right? And you can tell if uh, certain things are in the area. With it up to a mile, so. Right. Unless it's a flying dragon. <laughs> Yep. Or a human. <laughs> Big distance. Yep. I just want to make sure that these skeletons we see up ahead aren't going to try to eat us. Well, or, I, I, they uh, look I, awful I, hungry. <laughs> hey, you never know. They, they look like they're away. wasting away. Uh. All right, so Ranger. Uh, so we come up here to a little uh, up here by one of these uh, skeletons. Where do we go now? Don't forget your bowling ball. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of curious. I want to know how these these died. They were killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's it. Okay, so are you going to approach the skeletons? Uh, yes, since the undead radar hasn't picked up anything, so... Okay, so... Go ahead and move yourself to where you want to uh, exit the skeletons. Uh, I want to know what threat is trying to destroy. <laughs> so to move to back and everybody else move forward. <laughs> okay. The brave, so, brave Sir Fuego. What you, what you, you immediately, pick. what you immediately notice about these skeletons is that uh, they were. Uh, not too long ago, uh, buried, and someone has very meticulously excavated them. Were they buried in place? <clears throat> well, it appears as though, uh, since uh, you're standing on the road, uh, they were about uh, one to two feet below the, the current surface of the road. So they're in situ where they where they died, they got covered up, and someone dug down into the road to find them. Yes. Someone's doing an archaeological dig. It sounds like. Sounds like it. So, uh, um, <coughs> what, where do the, what do the footprints take us from here, Ranger? Um, can I can I see anything from here? Where the the direction of the footprints? As a matter of fact, mm. so I'm guessing the footprints take us uh, in the direction that just opened up before us. Yes, right about here. Right about yeah. there. So what do we see from here? I'm in stealth, stealth mode. mode. <laughs> oh, we see a tent. Inside, yeah, inside one of the <laughs> uh, the 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 ruins is a tent set up. Uh, there's a the remnants of a smoldering fire. 
the tent was set up here because these these walls seem to provide good shelter from the wind. And it seems to be an active campsite. I go up to the tent and knock on the tent pole. At the at the gateway. Or you could just say greetings inside the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good letting the guy who wanted to let the cat out of the cage tap on the tent. <clears throat> He's not going to leave uh, us down for a while. He thought the cat was awful. <laughs> and a halfling steps out. He adjusts his spectacles and he's holding a, a quill in one hand and a an unraveling scroll in the other and he looks a little confused and Say, Looks from uh, person to person. That yes. Uh, what 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 do I owe this intrusion? I said, pardon pardon the interruption, good sir, but uh, we are in search of a a scribe by the name of Methius. Would you be he, sir? I am Methius. How can I help you? We uh, had a brief stay in Prince Town, and we're told that. Uh, that you, sir, might have knowledge of where uh, there were or might still be a dragon in uh, in this area. What is your interest in dragons? We are uh, in search of uh, a small amount of uh, dragon's blood. Do you know where we can find a dragon? I would love to get some dragon's blood. I would love to get a dragon's scale. A dragon's tooth. Any part of a dragon would be amazing. Uh, so, so I'm guessing, sir, that uh, you know if we find a dragon. Well, unfortunately, I do not know exactly where a dragon is. As you can see, this city was devastated. A long time ago and I believe that it was destroyed by a dragon my excavations of the previous tenants along with the excavations of some of the homesteads here tell me that this town was attacked by a dragon or some smaller dragons and wiped off the map a long time ago and in the time that it's been abandoned legends and stories took over the truth but all evidence that i can find indicates that this town w was the victim of a dragon attack uh, he holds up a, he holds up a scroll and he says all of my research is right here in this scroll please feel free to read it at your leisure uh, I hope one day to uh, publish it across the kingdom uh, and educate people on dragons. Uh, uh, I've just got access okay. denied. Well, per, per chance, sir, would you uh, would you have an idea of what sort of dragon uh, or dragons okay. destroyed the town? That one's well. I can't say for sure, but it seemed that it would have been one of the fire-breathing types. Because everything, when you dig deep into the soil, you find that fire, a huge conflagration, destroyed this town. Uh, hmm, I'm kind of curious now. Uh, it's not letting you read the, uh, the document? Yeah, I just get an access denied request. I got uh, had to sign into Google, which is possible, but now I'm having trouble opening up a new freaking window. Which is just... there you go. Now I've got four of them. That's not good. <laughs> fucking technology. All right. Yeah. Paste and go. Oh, yes. Yeah. I need access. I sign in. Yep. Request access. Request access. Yep, for some reason that one's blocking us. 
Did Google also <laughs> block your access that out, because so. you were posting shit on Facebook you shouldn't have been posting? <laughs> Quite possible. Does your friend have uh, their D20 ball gags ordered? <laughs> <laughs> That's well, uh, it, you know what's bad his... is it was off of Facebook that somebody else shared. <laughs> I stole it from somebody else. So I went to the web page. Yeah, know who your real friends are. Yeah. <laughs> did, did Mepheus, uh, a, a further question for you, if you don't mind, sir. Uh, in any of your research or your historical uh, uh, research, what, does it indicate what area to the west or north that uh, these dragons may have originated from? Well, there's lots of legends. Uh, I also posted a, a link uh, in the chat, so maybe that'll work better. <clears throat> nope, same thing. Oh. Asking me to sign in to Google. Uh, it says I'm signed in, but... But uh, it won't let me... Yep, access denied. Yep. Really strange. <clears throat> Tell you, Google blocked you for the bullshit you've been sharing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, there's lots of legends about dragons. And. <laughs> yep. Same thing. <laughs> <sighs> So lots of legends about dragons. Uh, but, uh, what do those legends tell you, sir? Well, that they used to live in the mountains that you see to the west. That uh, that was a breeding <laughs> ground of, of dragons uh, in, in the thousands of years in the past. Uh, and then as they were hunted into extinction, uh, obviously the encounters with dragons got fewer and fewer, so today we don't see any. Uh, just out of curiosity, does anyone... Was there any legends of what hot, what color dragons were they? He said of the fire-breathing yeah. type. I, I would assume red. Well, that's red, <laughs> gold, copper... Well, yes, but there are, there are legends about all the metallic dragons and all the chromatic dragons so uh, we could talk about all you know what you tell me what kind of dragon you want to know about and i could tell you a legend about that dragon uh but you say you're looking for a dragon why are you here looking for a dragon what brought you here that we is were, what intrigues me we were told by the cleric of princetown that you were here <laughs> Those but that you might have, uh, as, as you have indicated, uh, that you do, some knowledge of dragons, and you have given us some, uh, some valuable information, sir. We, we are appreciative of that. Well, is it your intention to go into the mountains to look for dragons? We have uh, some reason to su suspect there might be a dragon underneath a in a dormant volcano. Do you think there's a dragon in a dormant volcano? Well, the only volcano that I am aware of in this vicinity would be Mount Volos, which is a few days to the west. Uh, and I would caution you that that is a dangerous place to go. Many adventurers have tried to climb that mountain, and none have ever returned. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> it, it is said that it is a it is a poisonous mountain. Based on your research, do you have any offensive or uh, defensive suggestions when dealing with a dragon? Well, all I can really say is. Uh, if he's a, don't let them breathe on you. Don't make <laughs> them angry. Uh, stay out of their way. Uh, dragons are dangerous creatures. 
So just be cautious. As a wise man once said, never laugh at live dragons. <laughs> uh, well, good uh, meet okay. yes. Um, but can, we, can I get the name of that uh, volcano mountain again? Mount Volos. Volos. Thank you. And it's to the west, you say? Yes. Are there any uh, any landmarks specifically that we should be uh, on the lookout for that will let us know when we have reached Mount Volos? Well, Mount Volos is unmistakable because of uh, the the ruins of the Black Keep that is near its summit. Uh, legend says that ancient times, uh, some mad wizard built his castle there. Uh, but uh, it it lies in ruins now, and many adventurers try to scale up there to find some remnants of his uh, his magical artifacts or secret treasure that is uh, rumored to be there. But as I said, only the madmen go there because none ever return. Hey guys, um, I'm looking at the map while we're talking to him, and it seems by the hermit's map there is a uh, citadel on top of the mountains and a hole or a cave at the base. At yes, the west. Uh, right. Yeah, me Metheus, Metheus, are there any are any legends about uh, uh, speaking of a cave at the base of the of the mountain? Well, I don't know about at the base of the mountain, but these are mountains, and there are caves and hidden things throughout this mountain range. And it would take several lifetimes to discover all of them. Uh, I can't help you with that. Well, good, good Metheus. Uh, the, the scroll that you offered us to read, would you... Would you it's, we, we, we don't really have the time to sit and, and read through your, uh, through your exhaustive uh, research. Would, uh, would we be able to purchase the scroll from you? Or a, or a copy of it? Well, it just so happens that I do have a copy of my research. And if you'd be so inclined to look at it, maybe take some notes and, and on your way back, if you should happen to come back this way, tell me what you think. And if you've learned anything new, maybe I will include that also in my research. I, I pull out my own parchment and paper and... <laughs> I'm making make my own contract on that. Oh, he has been desperate to make a contract. Let, let, let's let him do this. That one. is my character. I he just, follows like, from Oh my god. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I even just come out from appeal. being hidden and say, just, yeah, oh, sign wow. the contract. Oh god. Do the contract. Okay, so, also, so go ahead and go ahead and, and, and make a copy of his, uh, of his research. Oh, I. You're at it. Sure. Yeah. Well, he he's giving you a copy of the research. Ah, okay. Sign a contract I saying on our way back. We, we will make a effort to stop. I mean, base. We really do have to probably come back this way anyway, so we'll come back and see him. Yeah. yeah and bring him notes and stuff of what we find of historic. And, uh, for his trouble, I have given him five gold. Why, thank you, good sir. You are some of the most generous and respectful visitors I have ever had at my site. <laughs> he doesn't know it very well. <laughs> Grango, do you oh, want to ask him or should I ask him? <laughs> Say what? Do you want to ask him or should I ask him? You go ahead. I'll, I'll let you do it. <laughs> uh, my fine. Sir, uh, <laughs> do you know where the closest place where we possibly could procure some uh, beer yeah. and uh, who is? <laughs> See, that was coming. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> well, I can tell you where you're not going to find any, and that's in Princeton. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> We've learned that. Those, uh, those uptight idiots. Uh, I, I you, like your troglodyte you... reference. I mean, they yeah. do stink. I would say you would be better off uh, going to uh, Oak Grove, which is to the south of the lake, 
if you're heading back to the east. Okay. Would that be Willow Grove? Yeah, Oak Grove, Willow Grove. It's the Grove to the south. <laughs> Got Grove, Grove Kentucky. Out. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Cat West. Is there a place there called Cat West? <laughs> Well, you'd have to keep going to the west. I don't know about any cats. There are no cats here. <laughs> well, uh, good, good meet you. Uh, hail and well met. We appreciate the uh, the information, and we will strive to uh, any knowledge that we gain. We will strive to uh, pass back through here and share it with you. Dear Metheus, would you mind some company? We'd be more than happy to stay and chat with you for a while. For the night. <laughs> Gentlemen, feel free. Uh, I have plenty of stores, and uh, it, uh, it appears though uh, it is getting to the end of the day as it is, and we'll have to wrap this up, but your company would be most welcome. If, if there's any short little uh, dirt you need moved aside, I will be glad to lend my assistance. I appreciate that, but I am actually cataloging right now. I'm not uh, digging. I won't be digging for a while. Uh, okay. It's been it's been raining a bit too much lately. I understand. Do you wish to go putting out a trap? Mad box. Oh yeah, we haven't we haven't messed with the box yet, have we? We're out of the crazy view. Uh, who didn't get who didn't get to use the box last time? Obviously, I, I, Ranger. I uh, I have not. No, I used I, the Ranger got I a bowling ball. ball. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. My bad. Okay. Uh, I'd love to use the box again. <laughs> I, I will try to use the box this time. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Roll percentage. <laughs> He's so happy about it. <laughs> Fucking fast roll percentage. <laughs> Ninety six. You hear the disdain. Okay, uh, you pull out a a uh, pair of brass tongs. They're about two feet long. Uh, and they appear to uh, to be used for um, simply moving wood in a fireplace. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, who's next? Well, these are tongs, not, not really a poker, but... Grango will, Grango will go for it. All right. <clears throat> Not bad. Doesn't matter. It's just a list of a hundred shit pieces of shit that we can get out of. <laughs> you pull out a five inch long iron nail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we have another pipe for uh, Putin. So, uh, <laughs> does anyone here have blacksmithing? I mean, we got the tongs, we got the nail. <laughs> we just needed the anvil. Fuego, would you like to give it a go? I believe so, because I believe I have one. Let's see. The hell would I roll for that? The D100. The percentage die. Of roll over the die, then slide down to D100. 86. 84. 86, sorry. Alright, you pull out a deck of common playing cards. Woohoo! That, that okay. sucks, I already had a deck of those. <laughs> Alright, so we can uh, play some play some cards uh, and close out the night. started and... So I guess we'll uh, we'll pitch our tent uh, across the way over here. Yeah, you'll pitch Basically. your tent across the way from me, that's for sure. We're... <laughs> look, look, motherfucker, you're sleeping in this tent, too. <laughs> <laughs> Something ain't right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll pitch our tent over here. Basically, we're, we're Gimbal's, uh, Gimbal's standing, and 
Uh, they'd be across the way from uh, from Metheus for the night. Uh, I mold earth and make a tr and kind of make a small trough going around the tent. No problem. That's basically I'm trying to direct the water away. Okay, so we're gonna stay overnight, and this will we'll pick up next week. Sounds good yeah, to me. Right.